Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Hosen, board certified ophthalmologist and glaucoma specialist. Today I'll be talking about glaucoma drainage surgery with patch graft. Often in glaucoma, the pressure is elevated, causing further damage to the optic nerve and potential blindness. Despite the use of topical medications and or laser, the pressure may be inadequately controlled, leading to potential loss of vision and potential blindness. Surgery is offered to lower the pressure and potentially reduce the burden of medications. In glaucoma drainage device surgery, a tube implant is placed into the eye. I like to make the analogy that I'm your plumber. In glaucoma, the natural drain of the eye is no longer working, causing an elevation in pressure, causing damage to the optic nerve. As your plumber, I will install a tube to lower the pressure to prevent more damage to the optic nerve. This surgery is performed at an outpatient surgery center. Typically, it takes about an hour and a half. This will be performed with monitored anesthesia care under the guidance of an anesthesiologist who will provide you with sedation. Typically, you will not need to be fully asleep for this, but you'll be in a twilight sleep where you're relaxed. For the eye itself, topical eye drops are used to anesthetize the eye. During the surgery, you'll be on your back. There'll be a microscope placed over your eye to direct my vision and my hands to the appropriate techniques. The concept of the surgery is a plastic tube implant will be placed in the front of the eye attached to a plastic plate. The plastic plate will be sewn onto the eye and the plastic tube will be secured also to the wide of the eye. You will not feel any of the internal fluid outside the eye. It will be drained by the natural drainage structures externally. Furthermore, to prevent the tube from eroding from eyelid blink, a patch is placed over the tube to reduce the likelihood of tube erosion. Following the surgery over the first four to six weeks, you may experience a foreign body sensation. Several sutures will be placed on the surface of the eye to secure the wounds. If these sutures become very annoying, we instruct patients to apply artificial tears to lubricate the surface of the eye. Furthermore, an ointment may be prescribed to lubricate the eye at bedtime. Know that this is temporary as the sutures dissolve after four to six weeks. Post-operatively, you'll be on steroid drops for up to three months to reduce the chance of scarring of the surgery site. Once again, the goal of surgery for glaucoma is to enhance outflow from the inside of the eye to the outside of the eye. Early scar formation can reduce how much flow is absorbed by the eye. Let's go over do's and don'ts following surgery. Do, you will be given a plastic shield to wear over the eye at nighttime or nap time for the first month. The goal of this is to prevent the pillow and yourself from touching the eye inadvertently, which can dangerously lower the eye pressure. Furthermore, it's important to come to your post-operative visits to make sure the eye is healing appropriately. Number three, it's very important to use all your eye drops to ensure a proper post-operative course. In terms of don'ts, it's important to not let water get into the eye for the first two weeks. You may shower and bathe, but don't let the stream of water directly strike the eye. If you are to swim two weeks following, it's important to wear goggles to prevent water from getting directly in the eye. Also, it's important not to lift anything more than 25 pounds or do any maneuvers where your head is below your heart. Let's go over the risks, benefits, and alternatives to the procedure. Unfortunately, there are no alternatives. We've reached the point that despite our best medications and or laser, the pressure is still too high, causing potential further damage to the optic nerve and vision. What's the benefits of glaucoma surgery? Obviously, the main benefit is lowering the pressure to preserve the optic nerve and preserve the vision. A side benefit of the glaucoma surgery is that it could potentiate the need for less medication. I would never guarantee that you'll be off all medication. However, many patients are on less medication following glaucoma surgery. So what are the risks? The biggest risk is the surgery not working. The surgery does work over 90% of the time, but there is about a 10% failure rate that can happen right away or in the distant future. If the surgery is inadequate in lowering the pressure, additional surgery may be required. 
Obviously the biggest risk of surgery is blindness. That being said, the biggest risk of glaucoma is blindness. So we are proceeding to reduce the chance of blindness from glaucoma. But overall, there may be a one in 10,000 risk of blindness from glaucoma surgery. If you have not had cataract surgery, any type of glaucoma surgery can increase the risk of early cataract formation. Well, I hope you found this information about glaucoma surgery useful. I look forward to taking care of you to preserve your vision for the rest of your life. Thank you for your attention.